Hi Mohawk, my name is Alicia. I'm the Community Garden Coordinator here at the Mohawk College Community Garden. And today is my last video, so I thought it'd be really important for us to go over some of the basics. You might have noticed that it's extremely hot outside. By now your plant roots are well established, so they'll be able to take a little bit of heat stress, but you do want to be mindful of how much water they're getting. You should be watering your plants at least every other day, but daily light sprinklings won't do anything to damage the plants. Just keep an eye out for wilted or yellowing leaves because that's a telltale sign of overwatering. Have you noticed that some of your plants seem stunted and wilted, kind of sad? If they look like they're going to die, they're probably going to die. So pull those ones out of the plot and make space for the healthier ones. If you have clusters of plants growing, you can also thin those out to ensure that the ones that are left over have the nutrients and the space that they need in order to bear fruit. This is a great time in the season to give your plants an extra boost. You can get a fertilizer that can be worked into the soil or sprayed directly onto your plants. Be sure to check out our fertilizing video for tips on how to choose an organic fertilizer that'll work great for your plot. It's finally time to enjoy the bounty of all of your hard work. Be sure to check the garden every day to see if any of your fruits and vegetables have ripened, and if they're ripe, pick them and enjoy them here in the garden. Well, Mohawk, this is the last video. Thank you so much for joining me this season. I really hope that you learned a lot and had a great time doing this with you. If you have any questions moving forward, you can email the Sustainability Office at sustainability at mohawkcollege.ca. Enjoy the rest of your summer.